Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm out here in my barn. I'm going to be doing up uh, another deer skull. My wife's uncle asked me back on Thanksgiving if I wanted to do a European mount for the buck that he got. And I'm like, sure, why not? So I'm going to, I got it all cleaned up or scun out most of the meat off of it. I taped up the, the antlers already put uh, electrical tape around and protecting the, the natural color of the, the antlers. I believe that if you just stick it in water as you're cleaning it, I don't think the darkness of the antlers will fade, but it will when you use peroxide or oxyclean, which I'm gonna put a little bit in at first. I'm going to do this a couple times. I'm going to spare you the process. I have a few vid few more videos on the deer that I did last year. I have a raccoon that I I cleaned up and a duck skull. I'm going to show you so, the tools that I use. I could probably use a little more different tools. Um, I could power wash, but. The temperature's not very good outside. It's kind of cold, so using a pressure washer in this temperature outside is not good. So, all right, I'm going to get things rolling here, and I'll show you what I use for tools. Stick around. I'll show you the end product of the, the deer skull when it's all finished. Get your head in the water. I'm gonna, I'll go over some of the tools I use for cleaning the skulls before and after and during I guess one is a, a, a steel for sharpening when you're hitting some of the bone and you'll end up sharp need to sharpen a knife like this so you need a good sharp knife and I have another knife I don't know if it's for maybe scraping a little bit this is a, a beaver tail knife for skinning animals out and things like that so um enduring after it's uh all uh cooked up a little bit i like to have these little little picks i bought these just for this i know there's probably other tools out there to use like for um to get things out of the the nostril the nasal cavity all that stuff this is this little hook piece is pretty decent. You go up in there, you turn it, and you pull and grab some of it out. Then you got this one. It's at a little 90 degree angle there. What I think I might do with this one and this one here, it's a little bit of on an angle. What I might do is take these and file them down and put like a a flat edge on them because right now there's just a piece of round stock that's bent for a pick and this one I haven't used yet it looks like a little in all but what I could do is just go into where the glands come out into like the eye cavities and things like that the forehead um, to help clean those little nooks and crannies maybe like around the teeth also a little putty knife for scraping that this came in handy a few times a little pliers it's a little bit dirty pliers for uh, like when for instance uh, taking out an eyeball you're grabbing and you just you can't use your fingers because it's too slippery with gloves on so go ahead and grab the the tissue and just kind of pull for some for tension and you just cut around all the the flesh and things like that and and when it's getting to the point where it's all done I have a wire brush a couple of them uh, not it's this one's not real stiff this one well this one isn't either but anyways it Helps out with getting some of the like tallow off and things like that. And this smaller one it fits good up into the nasal cavity. 
and um, before it starts boiling get some electrical tape and a big roll of uh, shrink wrap it comes in handy so you wrap the the antlers up and you come along with the, the electrical tape pull that real tight as you're wrapping around it'll keep everything wrapped real nice and the one thing I did with my bear skull is I bought some uh, Gorilla Super Glue. I'm not sponsored by Gorilla Super Glue or anything like that. This is, they got a good reputation of a strong glue, so I got Super Glue from Gorilla. In case if any teeth fall out, I can glue them back in. I glued a, a bunch of teeth into my bear skull that I did, and, and it seemed to work very well. So, this is the stuff I use right now. Like in summertime, I'll use my, my pressure washer to clean some of the flesh off, but that's not the case this, this time of the year. So, what I'm going to do is just pick it clean. I'll pick it clean and scrape and boil it a few more times just to loosen up more of the the tissue and things like that so stick around like I said earlier I'm gonna show you the finished product all right everyone I said I was gonna show you the finished product when it everything was all said and done and I think it turned out fairly decent I'm happy with it I'm just gonna let it sit and dry for a little while and just kind of go over it and see if there's anything I need to do to it yet and Oh, before I show you, the one thing you should probably have if you want to do this is first aid kit. <laughs> I got this for during the trapping, my trapping season. I'm, I'm all done with that. I'm not, I don't have time to do, check traps anymore. But anyways, get a first aid kit because I ended up cutting my thumb. <laughs> Not bad, but bad enough. So, um, yeah. So, my wife's uncle got a, a nine-point buck, and this is what, what it looks like. I taped everything off like you saw, wrapped it around here. I think the next deer I do, I think I'm going to wrap every everything all the way around. Just for the simple fact, when it is sit, sitting in the water, simmering or boiling, just shy of boiling, I think the steam kind of removes the dirt a little bit. I've noticed that on, actually, that first buck, the smaller buck that I have. And uh, I'm just going to protect, cover the next deer up that I do, cover all the antler up and just so it doesn't loosen some of the dirt or the color that's on the antler. Because all this is, is dirt from the whole year. The whole summer, fall. But anyways, this is what it looks like. I'm sure he's going to be happy. He'll be tickled pink. And, yeah, this is a, this is a nice year. I'll step back a little bit. and This looks uh, pretty good. I like it. I hope he does too. I'm sure he will. So. Alright. I have a, a joke for you all. I think it's been a little bit since I've had a joke. With this time of year that it is. Uh, what's an elf's favorite music? Rap. <laughs> there you go. This ain't one of Santa's reindeer either, just to let you know. All right. Till next time. Oh, I have, like I said, I have some more videos of the the raccoon and the deer. Check those videos out. I got I started a new playlist for European mounts on my my channel, so check that out. And um, I think that's it. Oh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I appreciate it um, when you like it's a thumbs up 
thumbs down means something too so whatever you want to do just give me a comment oh uh give me, leave a comment as to what you use for tools if you would happen to do this i would like to uh i would like to know that way i could better myself with the next uh next skull i do so all right till then if i don't see you then or before then merry christmas and a happy new year take care and enjoy the little things